recorded. We're being recorded, and then these will go up on the uh, town website under under events. Oh, okay. So if you go to the town website, shine ball sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. If you go to the town the town website and then click on the cultural council, and then there's past agendas and meetings. Okay. It's there. I haven't actually done it in a while, but I'm not specific as I can. All right, so, oh, call to order at 7 1. Okay, so. So, first, welcome to you, guests. So, welcome. Hi. Right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, what brings you to Menden, and why you'd like to be on the Cultural Council? Oh, well, let's see. Um, my name's Jim. My wife. Kim and my daughter Abigail and son Jacob. We moved here in September. Abby and Jacob are at Buff Elementary. Um, Jacob is in first grade, Abby's in fourth. Um, past seven years or so, we've been renting a place in, we've been temporarily renting a place in Bill for seven years. Uh, and then uh, some things cleared up in terms of my wife's job and my situation, and so we finally were in the position to buy a house and found a home we like to rent it. So, you know, like the area, you know, to figure out, and uh, yeah. Um, so we enjoyed it so far, getting to know our neighbors and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, I I saw the list of uh, cultural organizations that received the grants for. I guess, this will be your 2023. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, those are like one of the things and stuff to have the choirs forever. And just already poked my nose around a little bit of the historical society. And, you know, like, oh, there was a new magician. Who's that? <laughs> I was just taking my kids to that. Well, you know, I want to uh, half, I just want to find out what's going on in the but you know, supporting arts and culture is important. So, yeah, okay. that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. Just a little for your information, this Taft Library has great for kids programs. They've got a ton of stuff. They do a wonderful job for kids. Oh yeah. And I think the founder um, donated the original money to build the library. Did it like for a children's library? So that's like part of their mission to have children's programs and. The children's librarian here, Tara, she, she's great. And they do a lot of really great kids stuff. Oh, really? So, yeah, it's a good, a good place to... Good place to yeah, I know my wife has brought the kids over here. Yeah. Which is just odd. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Michael, kids might be too. Mm -hmm. And um, he's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. And uh, his kids go to club too, and they're young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so current grant cycle revolving account balance. We got, does that look right? Does it look, yeah, I mean, we haven't received our funding yet. So, but we are still, okay. I wish Michael was here because I guess I'll have to ask him a question about it. Okay, so I don't know if everyone saw it, but Blackstone Bailey Art Association, Lisa Shea, she sent in her paperwork late. And I contacted Ricky about it. He's like, well, it's late. We've closed the fiscal year. Um, we might be able to reopen the fiscal year. But what I wanted to make sure first was do we still have the money? Because when we ended up Ranting. I thought we we, we were square. We, I we, thought we were we square. Yeah, right. it's already we got to flow money from it. And I was just kind of waiting for. All right, but we don't have the money to pay us, so I will. Uh, and we didn't. The, Sandy, this is Ellen. Yep. I have a question. So I saw on the town email that. Um, Paperwork had to be filled out by the town administrator in order for us to receive the money from the state. Do you know if that happened? I believe it did, yes. 
Yes, I, I got a I got an email back from her saying that she would do it or that she did it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. But that's that's for 2023. Lisa Shea was 2022. Uh, what is the fiscal? Huh? What's the fiscal year? Yeah. Uh, you, uh, July first. Uh, isn't it? I believe so. July first. Yes. Yeah. The fiscal year. That's. Uh, I believe it is. Then a couple of grants. So that was Lisa Shea from last year. And then Ellen, did you get in touch? with Blackstone Valley Community Forest because the paperwork that they sent just recently was for last year. Yes, and remember this I, year. I, so yeah, we need I, them to send stuff that specifically says 2023. Yes, and I copied you on the response that I sent them that they needed to resubmit the paperwork with those corrections. I copied okay. you on the email and I have not heard back from them yet. And I do check week weekly. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I haven't heard back from them. So who knows? Went into a black hole somewhere for now. That's that's okay. The that's ball's in there for it. When that, they yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. That sounds like they're just using old stationery or something that yeah. uh, really it's just they just they're having a yeah. right. yeah. <laughs> strike the two and put a three in there. <laughs> It's like, well, well, but as you say, the ball's in the floor. Yeah. Right. So that's, we deliver these grants and then we babysit them to a certain extent. But if yeah. they need to send us paperwork, then, you yeah. know, if they send us paperwork and some of it's missing, we let them know and we ask them to please mm -hmm. correct stuff. But, but we don't, you know. No. Yeah, yeah, well, they're asking for money, yeah. so they yeah. should yeah. be able to follow. Yeah. Right. We're all volunteers. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. Does anybody else have any paperwork or anything that we need to uh, process? Yes, I do. Okay. I received the Daniel Farmstead back, so I'll need the um, the paper that we both signed so we can send it. I'll drop it off. Uh, Daniel's Farmstead, they sent in their agreement and their W-9. So you know the form that we both. Oh. Do I? I didn't yeah. think I had one for this year. Do I have one for this year? Um, Ellen. Ellen, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I received the paperwork <laughs> back from Daniel's Farmstead. Yeah. For 2023. Okay. And so now um, we need to sign off, you know, the form that we sign off and we drop it off at the um, town hall so they can be funded. Yes. When we, when we are funded. I'm sorry, is there a question there? I don't oh. understand. <laughs> I see that the Daniels Farm. Oh, oh, no. State. Okay, Sandy, I think Sandy has it. I think she maybe I wasn't explaining it properly. Is it one of these that you need? Yes, so it's no, I'm sure. You're sorry. <laughs> No, it okay. says 2021, so it's actually 2023. Stationary. Yeah. Michael's here. Did you want to ask him? I, so, Michael, I, we received we received a request for from someone who had who was funded in 2022. Okay. And my recollection and, and the rest of it is that we don't have that money left that we allocated it to different grants this year is that correct no no so 2022 is that, that that's still the encumbered funds so you can those are still able to be paid those, those monies are still left behind outside of the funding pool for folks from last year that are still trying to claim those funds so you should okay. be fine yep it's right, anything so when you go year, over huh? a year back that's when those monies get released back into the funding cycle. But anything from last year's cycle that's not claimed is still considered encumbered funds that we don't we don't put into the claim into the funding pool. Okay. All right. Because Ricky didn't seem real clear on that. He seemed like it would be a big hurdle. I'll so do we want to pay her then? 
Yes, I guess we'll have to, right? She already did the. She program. she did her program. She sent all the paperwork. She did her program. She she yeah. did. She had a group, and they went to the Miss um. I want to say Miss Albany. Miss Menden Diner, okay. and um, in Albany, there's a thing that's Miss Albany. Oh, that's and I used to live there. Oh. Um, so Miss, they went to like the Miss Menden Diner, and they they did a watercolor painting of it. Um, she did have her program. Okay, then. And so, and the, and the money's been earmarked. It's just, and it's, yeah. it's, just it's aside. We're not taking out what we have for this year. Okay. 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 Sure. okay. okay. Sandy, who, who was it? Just out of curiosity. Can you turn that off? Sorry, can you hear me, or is it hard to hear you? Keep on hitting the volume. Up I, it doesn't really can do you much. guys hear me okay? Or? I, I, I can hear you, Michael. I don't know if oh, how now we can do it. Yeah. Turn up the volume. Okay, did, did, you, did you hear what I was saying earlier? Or was I, was I... Now we cannot hear you. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen. What? What, what, what? Can you hear me? <laughs> Testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, I can I can hear you. I can hear you, Michael. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Yeah. It is quiet though. I have to say your voice does go up and down. Hmm. Very quiet right now. Well, not <laughs> okay, so. Um I have a question on one of my grantees. Yeah. Um William Moffitt. Um, so he emailed and he asked me if we were doing the direct funding. And so I responded to him and told him we were, but he, he went above me to, before I could even have a chance to respond. But so I, I asked, I asked him today if he's, if he sent in his paperwork and I haven't seen anything. Did you receive any of his paperwork? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, okay. I think Ricky helped him with the paperwork. Okay. Uh, so we can get his voucher trail set too. Shannon, I think I saw a recent email, like just a couple days ago, from William Moffat. Some paperwork he submitted. I don't know if it's complete. He did get in touch with Ricky because he's not a computer person, and he wanted to be able to do this online, but was not confident we could do it. So that's my understanding of what happened to Mr. Moffat's stuff. Okay, so was his? Did he have? So he did not attach his W nine. I, I don't. His I don't know. I, I'm on my iPhone, so I can't go into my mail while I'm on my iPhone. But I, I did see that he sent something with some type of an okay. attachment. Oh, okay. Well, so actually, so, no. It's 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 um somebody else who I thought was his paperwork. Okay. Um. I think I so saw it. I, I swear I saw I saw something in from December. I see I Dorothy Moffat sent something on the 13th of February, but there was not any um attachments. And it basically oh. just said, um, is the Mending Cultural Council using the direct grant payment option or has the council decided to continue to proceed the original way, which is to submit my reimbursement after my project? So I had let him know that we are doing the direct grant option. But has he sent in his paperwork and I haven't responded back? I did just respond to him today because I know that he had gone above me a couple of times. So I thought maybe Ricky might have walked him through. I think he did. Okay. So well, I, I would think that Ricky had the paperwork and he was sent it to us. Yeah, I, yeah. So it's, if you find that, do we have a phone number for him? Maybe, yeah. you know what? We do. I'll just, maybe I'll just give him a call. Okay. Let's not let this go on too much. I mean, we kind of took it upon ourselves to say it has to be electronic. So if he wants to mail this stuff in, oh, sure. just, you know, just yeah, let's, that's why I was saying I'm just going to call him. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I could stop over. Yeah. 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 I mean, this pushes people, but I don't Yeah. Want we don't want people uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little outside their comfort zone, but not. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and uh, I guess uh, Kathy Schofield for the Historical Society is running a program. I guess it's going to be March. Um, I have to look at the time, but it's um, on the website for the town, and it's a 
for the World War II. Um, yes, I remember looking at that. Yeah, did I give you the, did she give me the paperwork for that? Or do I have to get that? Say she has a program. Well, see if you have it first. I don't see if you don't. I have paperwork for Blackstone Vocational Regional High School. I have a letter of support for uh, the 1960s Beatles show. I have a letter of support for the magician at the cult at the senior center. First ladies of the world. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I just have to get the paperwork to get from you. Yep. Okay. I have the. I have the grant agreement in the W-9. Yeah, First Lady of the World is. Oh, OK, OK. You have First oh, Lady of the World? Oh, no, First Lady of the World. That's different. Oh, oh, that, yeah. that's mine. That's yours. OK, yeah, no, I have the First Lady of the World. I don't have the World War II. OK, does she, can she sell the program without the paperwork handed in? She can still have it, right? She just oh, yeah. in advance. Yeah. She'll have to send the paperwork to get her check. Yeah. OK, yeah. OK. Yeah. So that was oh, First Lady of the World. She's all set. Cheryl Manalasco. Mon yes. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. She'll just need to send in the, the final report to get the money. So let her know okay. how to get a program to hand. So it might be I the guess, same I guess person. I, I have sure. a question for my, Michael. Michael, has this spreadsheet that we've been using on the Google spreadsheet has that been updated recently? It should be. Do you guys hear me better now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my computer was uh, being funky. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, 2023 has all of the grantees in there and the amount that we decided to grant on. So that's updated. Are you talking about this this current granting the, cycle or last year? Yeah, okay. no, this granting cycle and to see if anybody sent it in their paperwork and just so we can keep track of who's who's done and who's not done. I mean, I can see that um i mean for all i see is two people have been updated one was the blackstone community chorus and one was cheryl uh miniscalo in terms of what's on the spreadsheet for who has sent, sent in their stuff i don't see anyone else updating it for that so did you i don't know who added those two to the spreadsheet but if other folks have received paperwork um, and they haven't added it to the spreadsheet, they should. Yeah, I think those. I think I updated the um, that what that the uh, Blackstone Valley Community Chorus was mine, and I went in and updated that. And I think I accidentally updated Shannon's for the Cheryl Miniscolo. So I did two of them. So I I yeah. think I'm asking because I want people to remember that they're supposed to be doing that. So we it helps us keep that information accurate and who to follow up with. It's all my two cents, that's all. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And then sorry, Sadie, to go back. To, I don't know if you heard what I was uh, saying previously when you asked about last year's grantee. So if I, if I, if I, if I was not uh, loud enough previously, what I was saying was that you have one year to basically submit your uh, reimbursement claim. So if those monies are still in our pool, they're considered encumbered funds and we just account for them and we don't use them towards this year's granting cycle. So if they're not, if they're still not uh, claimed by the end of this year, then that money gets released for the following year's granting cycle. But yeah. anything from last year that hasn't been claimed yet, those are all part of like, we have like $4,400 of encumbered funds that we can't grant out because they're still technically allowed to claim them, so. OK. Who was that grantee okay. that you were that, that you that you're talking about that just that just submitted it? No, it was. Um, oh, um, well, was it Shay? Shay? No. No, it was um, the um, Blackstone Art Association. It was um, Daniel's Farmstead is also. Are you updating it, Michael, while you're there? Yeah, exactly. I can update it right now. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, Daniel's Farmstead. Um, fall music series. And then the one oh, from 2022 oh, was oh. Jay. We already had that on the spreadsheet. The 400 bucks paid out to them? 
paid up to who? Daniel's Farmstead. It's eight hundred. So they got they got granted money both last year and this year. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm sorry. So you're talking. Yeah. So last year we had them covered. Shannon, you're talking about this year. We have already. Yes. We're cutting them a check this year. Got it. Right. Is, is that the the spreadsheet that Ellen is talking about that we should be up? To? Yeah. Sorry. I think we're talking about two things simultaneously. I was asking Sandy about who from last year just submitted their um, oh, request sorry. for reimbursement. Okay. I was looking at 2022. Okay. That was Lisa Shea, Blackstone Valley Art Association, and it was 350. Got it. The free community art celebration. Okay, cool. So I'll yep. update that. Yeah, so that's no problem. We should definitely pay her out because she's definitely within her okay. window. <clears throat> and then sorry, Shannon. So you were saying for this year, Daniel's farmstead, we've al we've already approved and cut them a check for four hundred. Oh. Well, it's 800 for this year, but we, Michael, we haven't gotten our funding yet. Fall music series. Um, so this is where I think we were talking about previously. I think what what I saw from Ricky's notes in the timeline, I think the funding comes in at some point, like in April or May. I think this is where maybe if you want to follow up with Ricky and follow, I think I think I may have even emailed him. I, I didn't see what he responded with. I think but you I think did, yes. Yeah. I, I never. Yeah, so I think so that's normal. Like, we're if someone's already okay. claiming funds for this year early enough, yeah. we have enough money in the account to to cover it. But I think the actual this year's new granting cycle, those funds I think come in typically around that May timeframe. Okay, right, because according to our balance, we've got twenty five hundred and seventy five dollars. Okay, so then and we I should don't be know getting. What else an outstanding as far as like this Lisa Shea. I mean, obviously, if we pay her out, how much was that? Four, 350? 350. Lisa? And then Daniel's is one. Eight, 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 eight. eight. So that's a lot. That 400. Yeah, but that 800 is for this year's funding. That 800. Yeah. yeah. That's for this year. That's a different thing. <laughs> um, I don't know who's that. This one. Was that last year's? Right. So that's this year, so I'm to bring it. Yeah, that's fine. So actually, we all we have left outstanding from last year is um, this Lisa Shea for 350. There's another thousand that hasn't been claimed. 525, 500. So 2375. 2375 left from last year. Is that live arts? That was 500. Sorry. It was actually cleared on the 16th of February. Oh, live, live arts. arts yeah. Oh, okay. Then yeah, then we're fine. So we have all that's outstanding. Then is that 350, which we will pay out another thousand from BBC Spring Concert, and then 525 from performance of a thousand doorways. So if everyone even just claimed their money right now, that'd be 1875. So we have enough to cover that. And then so the next the thousand. I'm sorry. Can you go back to that 525? Who is that now? Um, a performance of a thousand doorways. Diane Edgecombe. Yes. Because I do see that we cut a check on uh, October 27th for 525. Oh, this year. Okay, perfect. And then yeah, then even last so, last so. year. After, yeah, right, right. But this is after we did our right. financial financial reporting. We cut our check. Yeah. Yeah. So 525. Okay. So yeah. So then the money we have in the account is will more than cover what we have still outstanding from last year's grantees. And then anything okay. for this year, I gotta see if, if Ricky responded, but that those funds should be coming into the account sometime, I believe, in April or May. So okay. Okay, great. Thank you. But going back to the BBCC spring concert, fall concert, we paid that. November 3rd of last, of last year. year okay. All right. There you go. So then, so then literally, I don't think we have any except for. Did we pay Greater Milford Ballet Presents a Nutcracker last year? They never, they never sent in paperwork. Okay. Then, then, then we're good. So then, then once we pay out the 350 to the free community art celebration, then, and then all, all debts are paid. Okay. Then anything else that we have extra is just is basically cushion. So 
because we we put a padding in last year for those that remember we held back 1200 bucks for a community program to be named later so we always kind of put that in there just in case if the math is not exactly one for one we have we don't have to do our program and we never actually do one so we have those extra funds in there but it sounds like it sounds like we have more than enough in the in the account to cover that the remaining 350 and plus now there's the extra padding which is our event that never happened and in anything else that's extra that we hold back. We are doing something in, in June though, right? Yeah, yeah. so the strawberry the money. So then moving to, to other topics. So we still have the town restoration project and mm -hmm. did people notice that we got an application for that? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that, I reached out to the guy, he put his budget at $7,000, which <laughs> is not, it's not what I thought that his idea was great. I thought it was very interesting, but I thought it was kind of general. It didn't it wasn't like specific to the to the Native Americans that lived in our area. He's from California. But since oh, yeah. my yeah. my can I can I say something? Sorry. I yeah. thought at our last meeting we actually voted that we're no longer doing the town restoration project and we were going to and we voted on putting that money towards the uh, strawberry festival and doing some contacting a mailing list, contacting our past recipients uh, and current recipients and doing this welcome thing. That was my okay. understanding that we voted on that. So it's a, so we need okay. to remove all of that stuff from the town website. I will take care of that. Okay. I think, I think when I saw the email and the application, I just sort of got excited and that totally went out of my mind. That that's I, I apologize. You're right. Um, I will reach out to, to him again and, and just and just decline, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. And just decline. Um, yeah, that's I'm sorry, that was my I got excited. Sorry. Yeah. I wouldn't too. Um which brings us up to new committee members, which we have someone here that's interested in being a new committee member. Um, so you're 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 through most of the process. You you met us tonight. Uh, you had to, I had to walk on hot coals. And <laughs> well, we're going to decide that now uh, when you're not here. We will talk about you. Uh, well, I and, thought you should. <laughs> Um, you have to you have to write a, a letter which you sent to me um, that that you're interested in why you're interested, and then you'll get an invitation to attend a town board meeting. And at that town board meeting, um, you'll express interest. They'll they'll mostly thank you for volunteering. <laughs> yeah, uh, they'll be like happy. Yeah, they'll be they'll be thrilled. And then um, and then they'll they'll make the formal appointment, and that goes through the town clerk, and then. At a different point of time during business hours, you stop by and you get sworn in, which I guess I don't make very clear at the meeting. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> <laughs> and then after you're sworn in, um, you have this lovely ethics training that you need to do. Is it online or? Yeah, it is online. Oh, good. Okay, I'm okay. Once, once, you, once you see the town clerk and you get sworn in, she okay. will send you an email. It takes a few days. You'll get an email with a link. I just did it last night, so it took an hour. It took an hour and 10, 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's doable. Yeah, you can't advocate for funding your wife's program or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. You can, but then you have to abstain from voting. I have yes. to abstain. <laughs> right. 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 Um. Yeah, and then yeah, and then after you do the ethics training, you'll get a town email, and. Any official business needs to be done through the town email um, so that so that they have a record on that um, un until you get a town email. I try to be good about keeping you in the loop and sending it to your personal email. Okay. Um, if it's just like kind of coordinating, like dropping stuff off or mm -hmm. a right. meeting time or something, we will text each other. Um, but, but primarily, it, it's good to stick to the town email for any town business. Um, which is all part of the open meeting, open access. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, sunshine rules, I guess. Is yeah. What, what they call them. I'm, I haven't lived in Massachusetts that long. So I'm not so sure I, about that's the term. I don't know. 
So yeah. apparently, yeah. apparently, everyone in the room is going to get real familiar with the new ethics uh, yeah. training. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, town website today. I emailed Dan um, oh. that a number of changes need to be made. That. Um, the, Where on the town website are you looking? I was trying to find. So under and then cultural council. There is, is there department. Okay. And then cultural council. You might have to go down. You might have to go down to the bottom. Yeah, hit all there. You go all departments. All okay. All departments. I have to go to all departments. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not. Okay. We don't rate. And then down to cultural council. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then okay. all right. Yeah. And then yeah. the board members. Yeah. Okay. So the changes I have him to put through, which I got an email back that he said he did, but I haven't checked it yet. Um, the key contact should be me instead of Ellen. Um, under board members, Paul needs to be added. And does your term end in 2026? 25. Nope, okay. you're 26. Really? And you're and you're on here. Yep, you're under as a board oh, member. Yeah. It's a three. It generally it's a three-year commitment. Okay. I uh, okay. I was under the rightly or wrongly that I was I was coming in the middle of the term. Oh, okay. Whatever. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not there now. And then I had to move, remove the old, like, Mother Mending concert and the 2015, 2016 grants. And then I put together, um, a, instead of just saying who we granted, which isn't really all that user friendly, I put together the events that we're, that we're sponsoring. And I, I listed them in order of date. So I put, like, the month that they're happening and then what they are and where they are mm -hmm. and i didn't broach the subject of whether they're free or charge admission yeah or anything like yeah. that because that that can change yeah that that's so it gives them an idea of what's going on but they'll probably have to do a little searching to find mm -hmm. more information on that uh and that brings us to the strawberry festival which i should have put i should have put on there i'll you know we should just do we should do a separate strawberry festival so if someone's randomly searching on the town website like what's going on there's a lot of a lot of digging to find any well actually i don't know because i'm on the website too if you go to the main page of, of the town website mm -hmm. i don't know if it looks like that maybe it's different on the on the app or but if you just go to boards and committees mm -hmm. we're right here we're right at the top yeah but i'm just talking about like information on events going on these sort of oh, events. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's like, what's going on? Uh, you know, I wonder if we could put, because I think Upton has, so masscultural.org. It's like the main general one, I think. Right. Yeah. Is there any information there about? Is that statewide? On that one, it is yeah. masscultural.org. Oh, so realistically, you can get all those surrounding communities as well. Yes, mm -hmm. communities. Yeah, you go to communities. Yep. But I kind of see what you're saying, Jim. That like we sponsor a set of events, and yes, it's nice that people can know about those. But then, like the town of Menden, like don't they have some Christmas parade or something? Like, and and just a a, a whole calendar. But I don't know who would do that. Is that on the parks, maybe the parks? And yeah, like what Parks and Rex is doing. Yeah. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah. Oh, it, it may just be a. You know, I can ask Dan about that. Yeah. yeah I mean, see what his response is. What's happening in town? You know, I mean, it's got the listing of all the committee meetings and all this, but, you know, other things that are happening. Yeah. I think that uh, updating the town website falls on the responsibility of maybe a couple people, so it's really hard to keep it really current. Yeah. 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 I guess so. Yeah. But anyways, the Strawberry Festival. Everybody should mark their calendars for six ten June tenth. Um, I'll get further details as we get closer. But they promised us, uh, you know, a, a booth, a table, which, you know, I have a table, no problem. Tina, you have like, um, you know, the, the banners and stuff. Uh, we do have yep. to talk about as we get closer, I think, um, how to contact all of the people and, and see if we can get commitments from them and do a photo op. 
I think, and and they can bring flyers and stuff to promote their businesses. So I think that's you know what we had discussed, and uh, we have to nail down as we get closer to that event. Hey, sorry. So I <clears throat> I missed the meeting last week or last last time. Not to just uh, bring up the entire conversation again, but can anyone share like a one minute overview of what exactly we're doing at the Strawberry Festival? Yeah, anybody want to volunteer or do you want me to do it? Sandy? Uh, Ellen, why don't you take it? Okay, well, we really did not get an overwhelming response about the um, town. Um, Our installation, yeah. Right, the installation. So what we decided and voted on was um, to do like we had been planning to do for a while, maybe a reception, some type of reception. And we thought that um, the best way to do this and very visible and outdoor and easy would be to hook up with the Strawberry Festival. They have vendors, they have uh, music, they, of course, the strawberry shortcake. Um, and, and it's a beautiful front of the church area if we want to do a photo op. Um, so I contacted them. The committee, the you know, the the church board welcomed us, no problem. We're non, you know, we're a nonprofit, no no table fee. Set up our table. We can do whatever we want. Do a photo opportunity, um, and so it's our. So we need to follow through on making that happen. And the date is six ten. It's June tenth. It's also the day of the townwide yard sale. So. Don't have a yard sale the same day, everybody. <laughs> we we need to be at the church, and we, we need to do a mailing or an emailing and and get as many people there. They can bring flyers about their programs, um, and you know take some pictures. Maybe Tina, you can get the the new local newspaper to come and um, take some photographs. And it's good publicity for our recipients. It's good, you know, it's good for us as a committee. It's good for the town of Menden. Should I send? Oh, sorry, uh, should I send that oh, ahead, um, in? Oh, should I send that out and uh, when we get closer to the event um, to ask if the newspaper going to be there because they'll probably forget if I send it out now. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. As we get closer, I think at our next meeting or whatever. What are we? Where are we now? We're in February, March, April. I mean, we need to we need to figure out how to contact our um grantees either last year's this year's both so we need to put that on maybe next month's agenda and figure out how we want to contact them and get a commitment from them because i think the sooner we get a commitment the better so they just so just so i'm clear so they just so and I've, never, I've never been in the strawberry festival like what happens is just kind of a craft a craft festival uh the church it's it, the church it's a big fundraiser for them they actually do strawberry shortcake with real strawberries, homemade biscuits, the real whipped cream. Um, they do, I think, hot dogs and hamburgers also, but I know definitely the strawberries. So it's been a big draw for probably 20 years, believe it or not. And um, I don't know, they do it as a fundraiser and to draw some attention to the church and that they're there. Gotcha. They're, it's, it's not just and a pretty building, there's people there. <laughs> <laughs> And so the grantees will just come like throughout the day on their own and just no, take photos I think, with us? No, uh, my, I, my, my vision for this would be that we have a table set up in a tent and they get to put their program, advertise their programming. We would want them there all about the same time, to be honest, to do a photo opportunity and set it up with the newspaper or at least very least we take pictures. So I would like to stand them on the front stairs of the church because it's a gorgeous place to take photos and just have a picture of our grantees, their names under, you know, and submit it to the to the town newspaper with a little blurb Tina would write up about these are the grantees and just simple, simple but visual that, you know, out that, there. That'll be effective. I think that'll be good. Got it. And this, there's no money required, obviously, right? If they're no, just, no money, yeah. no money at all. They okay. want us there. They're happy to have us there. They're, we don't have to pay anything, nothing. I mean, we have the funds that we set aside for the art installation. I think we should spend it on 
giving out maybe cookies and juice, something like that. I mean, I, I you know, why not? Or, we have twelve hundred bucks. We can do uh, we can do prime rib. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I mean so That's I think really that, yeah, I think, so this is something we need to put on the agenda so we can actually nail it down and yeah. and, and get it done. So for the next meeting, let's like for in between now and the next meeting, let's kind of think about what we want to do. And next meeting, let's finalize the details for this of, of what of what we want to do. So do we have okay. do we have a tent that the vendors that the um um cultural folks can bring their brochures and, and talk to the, people and the last time we had a tent I volunteered to use my pop-up and I I think oh. I still have a pop-up the wind <laughs> blew it up remember Ellen yeah but I think I have a second yeah, one uh, okay I think I have a set I think I bought a new one because I use it in my backyard for family events too so and I have a folding table um, and last time everybody brought a chair, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm sure we can all figure it out. But yeah, I, I think I still have a pop up. Generally, generally, what are the hours for this strawberry? Is it like 10 to 4, 10 to 2, 10 to 4? Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to look at the email or as we get close uh, or contact them again. But yeah, I think it's normal hours like 10, 10. I don't even think it's till 4 o'clock. I think it's like 10 to 3 or something. Okay. Um, oh, Ellen, you said it's on June 10th. What kind of a day is that? Is it Saturday or Sunday? It's a Saturday. It's, it's a, a Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Right, <laughs> um, yeah, we don't want to contact the grantees too late because they may have like bookings and stuff on a Saturday, but we don't want to do it so early that they forget so let's try and get we'll think about it between now and our next meeting and then we'll we'll come up with a finalized plan for next for next meeting so maybe we can make a list of people that we want to send the grants out to by next meeting and then buy it again or I mean, do we want to approach everyone and then see what the response is. I think we should because I think some people choice. might be on vacation. Yeah, and I think everybody, everybody should get. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's say anybody that we've given money to, right. the the twenty two or the twenty three. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that's enough? Is, yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. gonna be fine. But, and and <laughs> some of them are the same people anyway. Right. So, yeah, yeah. 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 And we also have to talk about if there's a rain date. Yeah. Is there a rain date that they do? Well, it um, might be. I mean, usually, if it, I think if it's, it's, I think, I'm not sure if they go, I don't think they do it on Sunday. I think they might go to the following Saturday. Yeah. What, do you do with, what do you do with 5,000 pounds of strawberries? <laughs> maybe they do do it the next day. <laughs> maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it goes rain. It, it, maybe maybe it might be the it might be rain or shine, too. So I'll, I'll have to find out. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. I think they're just moving. Yeah. Hold it under covers. Oh, yeah. Right. That's that's a lot of strawberries. They don't stay good very long. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to last a whole day. No. Um, which we actually we went from town website to strawberry festival and we skipped over a Facebook page. Oh. Um, I don't use Facebook. So if somebody else on the committee wants to set up a Facebook page, I'm I'm totally fine with that. Um, I, I don't do Facebook. Yeah, no, I think that we are starting to get our, I think the purpose of that was because we were not getting any, you know, okay. interest. Okay. But now that we are. Okay. I don't think there's any need for it. Okay, that's fine. Did you say on the, on the town site? Um, so like Upton has a Facebook page for their cultural council and they have somebody who updates it. We don't have one because the town, there was a time the town said we couldn't. Um, for whatever, yeah. So we, so we, I mean, we never have. But when we were kind of getting a little nervous about not having new members come in, we thought, well, we may have to have one. Now that we do, you know, you folks have signed up and things are looking better. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's something that we have to do. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, I think, I think if we can get some exposure on the town site, right? You know, and it's like, and it's easy to navigate to right. give a point. Right. It's like you know, you're looking at what's going on in town, and then you happen to see. 
one of the things that we're putting on, or two of the things we're putting right. on, three of the things, exactly. mm -hmm. then you've accomplished the, right. the right. work. Yep, and Dan doesn't have a problem with us saying, hey, this is coming up and this is coming up. He would put it in, right? He, oh, he, like, he I emailed him today at, I don't know, 11 o'clock, and by 12 o'clock, they're all done. Oh, okay. So, so, it, so I, yeah, I don't, we can use Yeah, he was, he was very responsive, and okay. and I just now in looking at it, it looks like he made all the changes. And yeah, if we asked for more stuff added to it, I think he'd be more than okay. happy to do it. Um, yeah, like after next meeting, when we have a Fine lights plan for the strawberry festival. I'll contact him and say, you know, put a link, put this on, so that so that that's that's on. But um, maybe, yeah, you know, maybe this is asking too much for a small town where things are run by volunteers. But it'd be great to have like a, an actual community calendar on the website. Yeah. You know, I mean, they obviously keep it up to date enough with town meeting, but mm. thing. The problem is it's the uh, person who puts it up there and then the gatekeeping function of supplying, you know, right. appropriately the, right. stamped. Uh, board at the top of the hill by the DB Mart. Yeah. The Founders Park. Yeah. And generally anything that, like the Santa Parade, they had a, um, what was the name of the big event at the ball field? Um, uh, they had actually tours and a trolley tour. Oh, yeah. Tours. So, yeah. That is advertised. It was a um, event. Actually, if you if you're interested in health history um, in the historical commission, the folks that are on there are very um, involved in doing things like that for the town. And there was a, an event last fall where um, I'm trying to think what the name of it was. It was the Hunters Day or something. It was, it was, it was Rock the Walk. Rock the Walk. Where they had bands playing. They had bands. They had a beer tent. I mean, it was, it was a good time. I mean, it went until like 11 o'clock at night. Um, and it was just this past fall, and it was after it was well attended. Yes, it was. And I, I, well, there was a fall festival like next to club, I don't like Yeah, this was up no, in no, the field, the Memorial yeah. Field. Oh, they, they were they were shuttling people from Clough over to the ball field. Oh, over by the over by the. Yeah, oh, you, it was the Fathers of the Brush actually yeah. who put it on, and they did a great job. They actually rented a trolley and. Yeah. Um, gave um, mm -hmm. guided tours of the town. Oh, wow. Oh, fine. Oh, yeah. And we um, uh, we also do an Oktoberfest like one and so and that so that might be what that's you know. what I would yeah. say. Yeah. And then um, not right in Menden, but in Blackstone, Massachusetts, this Daniel's Farmstead, they in September have I think they're like um so they, each each Saturday they have a um, food market or a oh, vegetable market. Farmers yeah, yeah. uh, market. market. And they have like a tractor show. Yeah. That's yeah. It. But they do they do advertise at that top of the hill there in sixteen on that board. So yeah. 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 Well, obviously they can. You know, not everyone sits there and drives by and looks. Well, I know. I know. Yeah. But Something on the website. No. No. <laughs> 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 You, you, if you want them to go, go to that that's thing, that's right. 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 Maybe they'll put a live camera on it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But it'd be nice to have all those things like <laughs> up there with links, everything. And I know that might be too much work for some of but... Is there anything else? Okay, then it's time to set next meeting. Just real quick, Sandy, I um I just emailed Ricky because I did see him respond. And he said that <clears throat> after the annual report gets submitted is when the funding gets deposited. So it's actually earlier than I expected. So I think you submitted the annual or the you submitted the granting decisions a couple weeks ago, right? Which is the final part of the report. Yeah. So I just emailed him saying that now that we're submitted, when will we get our deposit? So hopefully we get something in the account okay. soon, yeah. soon in April. So. So next meeting needs to be before March 20th. I'm going to be gone the, the 15th to the 23rd. That's funny. I'm, I'm going the 15th to the 24th. We could do Tuesday, March 20th. Uh, that's a I mean, I'm sorry, Tuesday, March, 20, March 14th. I won't, I won't be here. I'll be. Okay. 
I, I might be here. I, actually, I'm going to cut through. 16th. So yeah, I could be here the 14th, I think. How does the 14th sound to you, Alan, Michael? Is that, yeah, that should work for me. That's fine. I'm sorry, what was the date? The 14th? The 14th. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could do the 14th. No problem. All right, sounds well, good to me. I'm, I'm probably be in a hotel, but okay. so, but if I if I if you might make it, I might make it. Probably not, but I might make okay. it. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next meeting will be March 14th, and we meet here at the library. Yeah. Um. I think that's it. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second, uh, third, final. <laughs> okay. <be> third. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye everybody. Thanks, folks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, bye.